In primetime news this evening, Fix It, JPS given directive to correct controversial electricity bills. Hunts on for a trigger men behind deadly gun attack on JDF team. And police commissioner outlines wins so far in mass shooting investigation. Good evening and welcome to primetime news and a special welcome if you're watching on TVJ International in the Cayman Islands or online at onespotmedia.com. I'm Giovanni Dennis. And I'm Kalisha Williams with a preview of what's to come in the financial week. Here's Javon Keyes. Well, Kelly, it appears there's a slowdown in the demand for loans to the private sector. That's according to the Bank of Jamaica. What's causing all that? I'll give the details a little later on in the financial week. Well, I'm sure there's no slowdown in sports. Jordan Fort is here to give us a preview. I'm sure West Indies may be somewhere in, in, in that update. Uh, certainly West Indies in there, but uh, the shocking news, sweeping changes at Mount Pleasant Football Academy to their coaching staff. Just one match into the new coaching staff's reign and they've gone back for the old coaching staff. I'll give you a lot more details on that in Primetime Sports Friday, plus the latest in the saga of a deceased former youth basketball player and why, why the family is still in limbo as it prepares to bury the player. I'll tell you more in Primetime Sports Friday. There's also sports commentary, E-Prime, and weather in this newscast. But before the break, the feedback question. And this evening we're asking, what differences have you observed in the price of produce in the weeks after Hurricane Beryl? You can share comments online, facebook.com slash television Jamaica, and post on X at TVJ News Center. Stay with us. The news in detail right after this break. <laughs> 